Hey, what's the story? Yours truly, Phil here. Welcome back to the channel. You're very welcome as always. And tonight I am reviewing the 2003 horror film slasher extravaganza, Freddy vs. Jason. You know them, you love them. Two iconic characters bash heads and come together for the first time ever. And it's... Oh... Let's not spoil it. Let's get into it, shall we? Directed by Ronnie Yu, who did The Bride of Chucky. And he loves putting fucking metal in his movies. Heavy fucking metal. Even in an interview on the special features. Oh, I like heavy metal music. It's 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 good for her. It's good for slashers. I'm like, oh, you're speaking the fucking truth, brother. And he has Spine Shank and he has uh Oh, he has fucking loads of great tracks. Mudvayne, the whole bit, Static X, you name it, El Nino. Great, great 2003 uh, new metal soundtrack by handpicked by Ronnie Yu, the director. And the film doesn't have, uh, what's his face? Oh, Jesus Christ, K Kane Hodder, sorry. It doesn't have uh, Ken Hodder as Jason. It has uh, Ken Kersinger, uh, a random stuntman, to come in and do it, which fans weren't particularly happy about. But, of course, they had Robert Englund in the role of Freddy Krueger, which is numero importano. Amy, see, she only gets thirsty when I'm filming. Amy. Hello. I'll get you some carrots in a minute. She has a drinking problem. Not right, EB. So, 2003. We have a, a new guy stepping into Jason. And we have the incredible Robert Englund handling duties as Freddy. And uh, the film goes around the plot as the kids of Elm Street uh, start to get nightmares. And they told us that the family and the moms and dads are hiding something, you know. Sound familiar? And Freddy is in the kind of demon realm or the fucking Freddy afterlife, you know. And he needs a way to get back into the youngster's dreams to kill them, of course. But he's not strong enough. He hasn't got the power to make a kill. Or invade their dreams. So what he does is true trickery. A really great scene by the way. Uh, convinces, resurrects Jason. And tells him to go to Elm Street. The kids have been very bad on Elm Street. Make them know what fear tastes like. I've been away from my children for far too long. <laughs> Fucking cool. So he sends Jason back as a patsy. To start murder laden. All the teen wagers so he can so the fear and and every time he does a kill it has a signature of freddy so then they start talking about freddy again did you have and the more people talk about freddy the more the fear spreads and what does freddy feed off f e a r that's fear yeah so the more jason kills and spreads fear Amongst all the youngsters, the stronger Freddy gets. And he wants to make his way back to the human world to invade dreams and continue his murderous rampage. Finally killing off the last remaining offspring of Elm Street. So that's the basic gist. This is a spoiler free review. Let me tell you something for nothing. Robert Englund is absolutely fantastic in this. He is an incredible mix of scary and funny. An absolute great physical performance from Robert England. The, the back and forth between him and Jason in the obvious uh, fight scenes is fucking class. Fire, explosions, blood, gore, you name it. It is fucking, it's a hoot. Freddy vs. Jason is a fucking hoot. And it has an attempt of a plot, you know, a slight, slight resemblance of a plot that keeps, 
the film going at a nice tick. Now, John Ritter, rest in peace, his son, Josh Ritter, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, he's in it and he's 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 hard to watch. He's a very poor actor. And um your man from uh what's his face? Jason Ritter and uh oh God I can't remember. But Kelly Rowland is in it as well from Destiny's Child and uh, uh Monica Keena and it has Sean S. Cunningham producing it as well so it's cool to have him in the mix to throw his two cents on it but it's got hot young people who die. Great. Teenage, slutty teenagers who drink and do drugs and end up getting uh, macheted. And uh, there's some great scene in the cornfield with Jason. Uh, you look like you're looking for a pig to fuck. Oh yeah, Jason goes up in flames. It's fucking cool. Great action. Great back and forth with the two slasher icons. Uh, who wins? Who knows? But the fucking finale is worth the price of admission alone. Nice bit of story. Acting leaves a bit to be desired, but it's a slasher. What do you want? The gore is cranked up to 20. Uh, the lore is great. Throwback shots. The dream sequences are done very well. And the finale is filmed incredibly well. And it's just an absolute riot from start to finish. The gore, TNA, sex, drugs, violence, heavy metal, Freddy vs. Jason, 2003. It's an easy, remember, it's a slasher film, so don't want, don't compare it to fucking Godfather or Citizen Kane. But uh, for in the slasher world, this is an easy four stars out of five. It's really enjoyable. It's really fucking you can fanboy out fucking checking out Jason uh, taking on Freddy. And uh, it's a fucking awesome movie. Great action, great kills, great trills and spills. And definitely worth watching. So uh, yeah, four out of five. Uh, so um, check it out. We only got a few more days left on Halloween. Thanks again for tuning in. And hope you're keeping well. And enjoy the next few videos because we're coming to a close. And uh, yeah, so I hope you like this. So stay cool and uh, and stay awesome. I'm going to go look after these, uh, these pets. What the f-